Yo, welcome back to another great video. In the last video, we went over creating a biome, a desert biome. That was part one of this video. Now we're moving into part two. This is where we're gonna do more advanced biome work. We're gonna really battle test our map, make sure it is perfect. So let's dive in and let me show you how to create the perfect map, the perfect biome, the perfect battle royale. So let's get started. All right, I did remove all the cactuses and everything else. So in this video, what I really wanna do is start creating a new layer. And what we're gonna do is create another level. I feel like it's just too flat. And so I wanna go up higher. So we're gonna remove some of that ground there where you wanna build up higher on your map. And then we're gonna build yet another level here with our building materials. So let's go around this area here and just complete this circle. So you can play around with all these different building pieces, see if one that works for you. I really think this one actually is going to be the golden ticket. So boom, see how that slugs in so perfectly? That is it, guys. Yes, that is exactly the one I'm going to use. But it looks unfinished. I don't like that. So what I'm actually going to do here, delete that piece, and I'm going to grab this corner piece. And I'm going to go ahead and slug that in right there. And you'll see what it's going to do here. It's going to cover that kind of ugly, sharp edge. And I don't, I don't like it. So we have to complete it. We're going to build a wall there. We're going to grab that corner piece there and place it. And it does kind of hide the fact that there is a ramp there but hey kind of a mystery right i've noticed that maybe i built this too far out not liking that cavern it seems a little claustrophobic not much you can do about that but maybe we can just cut off the edge there and make it a little smaller and i'll place that there this is perfect you'll see right there bam we have this beautiful up ramp and we're going i still don't like that edge though this is me guys i'm very detail oriented you may not want to do this but see i can't place that there because if i do you can't get up the ramp but i do want to kind of carve it out so what i'm going to do is turn that around now i'm going to go into resizing and i'm going to play around around with the width and I'm really gonna focus on getting this piece to be thin enough where you can walk up there I am see how I shrunk that down there it's creating this beautiful piece that I think is complete for me and for my map it's a tight squeeze for sure but we've created this very beautiful build up here and it's just this nice stairway to the top I really like the way it turned out guys if you could like and subscribe to my channel you have no idea how much that would mean to me just hit that like if you feel like the content I am providing is awesome. All right, so moving on. We're gonna go ahead and build on top here. You're gonna notice right away, you can't build on top. We're gonna have to take something we learned from an earlier video, and we're gonna have to place a piece on here in order to build on top. And we're gonna go ahead and use this guy right here. Make sure you set grid snap to 16, and make sure it gets all the way to the top and not too high up, because you don't want it to show. Perfect, we're gonna put it right there. Now when we grab that piece, we should be able to build just fine. So I'm just gonna grab one of those pieces there, and whoops, that's, that's the wrong one. I don't want green. Bam, all right, perfect. And now I'm able to build out, right? Because I was able to place that piece there, we are able to fill in the map. Wonderful, it looks beautiful, guys. You guys also need to fill in this upper deck we created. Remember, we created a second level here. So you wanna get that upper deck as well. You need to patch both. It's very important because we went up a second level in this biome. So we do need to make sure we are protecting everything and just creating layers and leveling here and moving pieces around to make sure they fit without sticking out the sides too much. So guys, go ahead and finish up and patching your map as best as you can. And now taking a look around the border, you'll see, yeah, it's sticking out in a little areas here and there. And guys, you can get more finicky if you want, shrink the pieces even more to make sure it's not bulging out of the sides. Maybe you like that jagged look out of the sides, maybe you don't. But for this video, I'm not gonna correct it. This is broad strokes. Now I'm gonna show you the secret sauce to testing your map. Guys, I learned this and I think it is, it is the bee's knees and I'm gonna show you something so cool. Go to devices and we're gonna temporarily put a brute in the game. Now, if you're gonna put a brute in your battle royale, map, I'm going to suggest against it until you become more advanced at building terrain because it's so easy to break through terrain. However, the brute for testing your terrain, you guys are going to be shocked at how amazing using a brute is just to do terrain testing. All we need to do is stomp on the map, but there you go. So I'm already seeing, okay, there's a hole in the map. I need to patch that. Instead of having to use your pickaxe on every little piece, you can now really quickly smash through and check your map. So guys, you're noticing something here on the left. That is a big deal. That's a problem 
We're breaking through the second level there as well. This is a glitch with Epic. Now, this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying if you use a mech or grenade launchers or anything that uses rockets, you can have an issue where your map rips open like this. It is really important that we address this, but first, I want you to go through and check your map and patch the holes the best you can, and then we're gonna finish off where I'm gonna show you how to patch if you do wanna put a mech or use rocket launchers, grenade launchers, etc. You really need to take the time to spend detailing your map and see how these little details under the map are just as important as the ones on top. Okay, so I remember there's a hole there. I can actually see it there, so I'm gonna patch it. And we're gonna patch one more. Doesn't mean you're gonna get it all on the first try. Maybe you do. But let's address the fact that that wall was completely coming out of the side there as well. That wall right there. We need to address that wall because it ripped out. It died. So let's do this. What we're gonna do is flip around the pieces here, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a piece and flip it around just like this and we're gonna place it then we're gonna place another one here and we're gonna do all the corners so we're gonna do that and then we'll go back here and let's make sure we're lining this up two by two yep on here and then we'll turn it again and then once again we're gonna go ahead and place one there so what we're doing is we're creating a back wall in case the front wall gets smashed or breaks for whatever reason it's a little bit of a glitch but now let's see how this looks all right so here we go again we're smashing again we're gonna go ahead and take another look here and we didn't fully do it, but you're already noticing what a huge improvement here, guys. Now there's a little sliver there we can fix in the corner, but look at that, guys. Right there, all of a sudden, we're seeing most of this has been protected, and that is amazing, but we have to fix that back corner. There's one reason that piece may have fallen out, and that's because there's no underneath support. So let me show you a fix for this right now. Now, what we do need to do is build the rock placement out underneath. So we can stop that piece from breaking, or at least if it does break, we can stop people from getting under the map. The goal is you want to stop people from getting under the map, and that mech is amazing for testing that, especially when you're doing custom terrain, because custom terrain is so finicky compared to just choosing an island to build on. But what's so great about this, it's so unique. Every piece is yours, guys. This is like a piece of art. You guys are literally creating a masterpiece right now. So I think I've patched every hole that I remember from the last time we did this let's check it again all right we're gonna go check our work the first thing i'm noticing that that rock off to the left there i might have let that jet out a little too far you may have a glitch where somebody falls in that corner and can't get out i would check something like that to make sure somebody can't get stuck but look at this guys we're having great success already my gosh look at that it's not breaking just to double check there it's not breaking guys we just patched that glitch this way you're building a map for mechs you're building a map for grenade launchers and rocket launchers or things that may blow the frame apart really quickly you know there's there's the epic items that just rip through terrain but guys we did it we patched it you'll still see a hole there on the left easy enough right just patch it up you get the idea now we've done it guys now you already see that i'm building my next map right now make sure to check that out in the next video until next time guys take care